and go in here. So I had a question from Lisa D about greenhouses. Uh, she was pretty much asking, is it too hot down in South Florida for a greenhouse? And uh, what's the pros and cons of one of these versus, say, a glass greenhouse you build yourself out of windows? Well, yes, you can have a greenhouse in South Florida. Um, typically, most greenhouses down here have a lot of shade cloth. If you drive out and you look at any of the agricultural areas, you'll see a lot of shade cloth. Um, I... I personally have picked up a few of these shade cloths I've seen laying on the side of the road because I use them. Um, but this stuff here I got uh, a couple years ago. And it works pretty good. So yes, you can have a greenhouse in South Florida. Um, now she also asked, would it be too hot? Well, I have fans in my greenhouse. Now, before I had a fan in here and ran a wire through the window, um, it was difficult to manage. I mean, if you're starting seeds, yeah, that's, I mean, I got the shade cloth, so that helps a lot. And you got to keep it pretty much, um, moist in here. Not too moist too often, but you got to really keep an eye on it because your plants can dry out fast. So, um, yes, you can have a greenhouse in South Florida. Yes, you should have a fan in there. Um, and they will, they'll get really hot if you're not careful, uh, and you can fire all your plants. I have done it. Um, now, this is a polycarbonate 6x8 aluminum frame greenhouse. Uh, it costs about anywhere from three to three to five hundred dollars. Depends on where you get it. You can get them from Harbor Freight for a decent price. They also have a bigger one than this, and I mean, it just depends. Sky's the limit. You can get a professional greenhouse for, you know, three, five thousand dollar kit, whatever, however big your space is. This is pretty much a hobbyist greenhouse. Um, so the pros of this is, you know, it comes with instructions, manufacturer warranty. I think it's like a year, maybe, if that. Um, it's, it comes with a lot of, extra thingamabobs and doodads uh pretty much clips and <sighs> that white fly in my face uh clips and things of that nature and you can customize them any way that you like uh run water electric uh reinforce with some four by fours and two by fours in here if you live in a place like i do south florida which has hurricanes but i did not reinforce mine so yeah I got a funny feeling I'm going to be picking up panels for days. Uh, so, these panels right here are really flimsy. And the last one I had, the last greenhouse I had, um, I had to caulk the outside with some clear caulking. And what that does is it holds the panels in place. You don't get as much rattle with the panels and things of that nature. Um, this one came with some clips that kind of hold the panel to the aluminum. But... I still have a couple issues with it here and there. Now, with a glass uh, window greenhouse, you can build it as big as you like. Um, reinforce, uh, obviously you're going to have to frame it in. Um, and you can pretty much anything you can imagine you can do. And it's probably a lot cheaper because you can get windows for free. So... Uh, whatever the cost of two by four screws and I mean you're sweating blood I guess um, now with that being said uh, Lisa D is down south in Florida so she also gets hurricanes so if you have a glass greenhouse and there's a hurricane coming it would probably behoove you to cover it up with a tarp because if the glass does break you want to keep that glass contained in that area so it ain't all in your yard your neighbor's yard and somebody gets cut but i mean other than the glass shattering factor of the glass greenhouse it's actually really really um doable um you can do everything in a glass greenhouse you made that you can do in this greenhouse uh, I guess you're just limited by your imagination so uh, other than that I mean they're both great one just cost 
money and the other one just cost a little bit of money and time and sweat so however I personally like this greenhouse because even though we had to pay for it 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 isn't like putting a puzzle together with windows you're going to get different sizes um, unless you find a building that's thrown away all the same size windows then you're then you're good um, but other than that you know this went together fairly easy so I like my little greenhouse if you know I've had both I've had a greenhouse that I've built and it was really good too um, however I don't know I guess if I could have this greenhouse with some thick glass in it I'd be happy with that but they do get hot so with that being said just make sure your air circulation is good and your watering is good for all the plants and you should be successful and here in South Florida, we do get cold bites every once in a blue moon. So, you know, if you have really cold uh, prone plants like Jabotacaba or um, mangoes or citrus, and you got them in pots, you can move them into a little area like this so they don't get frozen. So it comes in good for that. But this thing's excellent for starting seedlings. I've started so many seedlings in here, it's ridiculous. So... Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out, and um, I hope that kind of helped you with the greenhouse. If you have any more questions, comments, or suggestions, put them down below. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. If you have a picture of the greenhouse you may have or have built, put it down below. Alright guys, thanks.